Welcome back to another M Creator lore video. Today, what we're going to start working on is actually a GUI recipe helper system. So, um, currently, what we have for a crafting table for custom crafting is just a basic block and a simple inventory, which we have to remember the recipe for. What I want to do is add a sidebar and basically allow us to create the. Um, a recipe helper book if people want to use that or not so basically a few different features it will have like for example um, they can open it or keep it closed this will be dependent on the player variables so we can basically go ahead and make sure that if they have it open then it won't be for every player so we'll be doing that today and I needed to create the GUI first so I needed to measure all the GUI and make sure that it was all to shape then I needed to bring it into the actual um, GUI for the crafting recipe, but I made a separate GUI for this. Um, reason being is so we can still keep the original GUI for people that don't want to use the recipe book. So that was partly why I did it this way. And then I needed to create the recipes for the recipe helper. So this is basically just um, updating the uh, recipe grid over on the other side so I needed to make sure that the IDs were all set up and stuff like that and I changed some of the um, script for this particular procedure at the end but um, made it a little bit easier for me to work with uh, using item stack variables which um, allows me to set a item stack for all of the items rather than um, have it random for that particular thing. So we're getting a random item from the item stack, like the, the inventory that we're basically converting it into the recipes. Next, what I needed to do was uh, get a recipe number uh, for the player. So basically this would be a player variable. Um, it could be either lifetime or persistent. I went with uh, persistent because it would kind of be important to keep it over um, if they died, but that's just my preference. You could uh, reset it if you wanted to, um, if they um, didn't need it uh, for a lifetime or whatever. And then I needed to create the buttons uh, procedures for basically increasing or decreasing this value. So basically what I needed to do was get the recipe number and then basically decrease or increase the number based on the amount of recipes that are in there so basically if it's greater than zero I want to subtract uh, by one if it is greater or less than the amount that we have then I want to basically shrink that or increase that number until we get to that maximum number and then I needed a way to open up the GUI so uh, basically I just used a placeholder button right here for the time being until I can actually design something um, we might even keep it this way, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what we can come up with. If we can come up with something better, then we can maybe do that. But basically it allows us to open up the GUI and I linked a couple of scripts to it so it can open it up and close it. So the first test that I did was basically go ahead and uh, just see how it looks in the uh, options. Now it does open. And if I close out of it, it doesn't save that position. So I needed another player variable for that. So creating a player variable, I made it sure that it was uh, li linked to this particular block. So, but it's still on player side. So basically it's going to have the name of the block so we can use it for this block specifically. And then, it, or at least the GUI specifically, and then we can open and close it based on this GUI or this uh, logic variable. So basically what it will act as is just memory if the GUI is open or closed. And we're going to want this on player persistent um, for the variable. All right, so once I've done that, I tested in game again after I tweaked some of the code and I just wanted to make sure everything was working and that it kept its memory. So basically it should keep its memory and yes, it does. So it's perfect. Now we just need to get the recipes all generated inside here because at the moment they're not generating automatically. So fixed display issues, uh, this basically uh, was the, um, it not generating automatically. It took me the bulk of the video to, or like the uh, day for working on this to fix that. And then I needed to get the display names for the items set up. So basically what I wanted to do was 
um, create the item names for the um, crafting recipes. So basically that will be displayed at the top. We'll need to go back to this and tweak the code a little bit so it will only display a little bit but kind of scroll between the um, actual values. So we'll have to do that in a separate video because I didn't really want to spend more than four hours working on this video. Um, all right, so localization, this is basically where I'm getting the names from. I'm just getting the names of the items and we're using localization because this uh, will allow us to, if we use it in the future, uh, add more words like languages and stuff like that, then we'll be able to expand on to, it'll be updated automatically. So we won't have to worry about worrying about the name or anything like that. But we will need to design a scrolling text so it can actually go ahead and properly link up, like actually display the whole thing. So, because we have a limited amount of space that we can actually display that. So this is basically the text that I'm going to be linking it to uh, right above the recipe uh, helper part here. So hopefully that will allow us to give it a general estimate of the names of the recipes without needing to worry about not knowing about what the recipe is for and all that so that's the general idea and total recap time of how many hours it took me it was about four hours to make all this and this is basically the outcome of what the day provided so basically all the different types of recipes are displayed here now so i got all of them linked up and ready to go so everything's good to go now and we can close the recipe helper anytime and it will save the memory and stuff like that the best part is it doesn't drop the items from there so we can go wherever we want and then come back and open it up and it would be in the same spot that it was basically without the um, the thing. So if you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe, comment down below, rate the video, and I will see you guys next time. Thanks for watching. Peace out.